All right, we are talking about the basics of the Arduino today. And this is an Arduino Uno. This is a clone. You can see it's made by SunFounder, but it's open source. There's not a problem with getting clones. In fact, they'll save you a lot of money. But we'll get into that later on. Today we want to talk about the Arduino, which has been around in one form or another uh, since 2004 when a Colombian graduate student at a university in Ivrea, Italy, uh, wrote a thesis called Wiring and developed a prototype board similar to this, presented it to his thesis advisor, a Mr. Massimo Bonsai, who later went on to found Arduino. So let's take a look at the board and talk about its different parts. All right, at the core is the AT Mega 328 microcontroller from Atmel. And each of the individual pins on this controller is brought out to these headers. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to attach real world objects to this board. We're talking about things like a relay, a DC motor, an LCD or a different type of display, and interact with them through the computer or through different sensors like this which is an infrared sensor. So we already talked about the AT328. Over here we have a crystal which is at 16 megahertz controlling the speed of the processor. Here we have the USB to serial interface which allows us to plug a USB cable into this port here and communicate with the computer for programming as such. Now there are also two of these six pin headers on the board. Those are called ISP headers and can also be used for programming, but we'll get into that later. Here is a reset button and here is a DC in. You can plug anything in there, a wall ward, a nine volt battery and this nice little voltage regulator here will kick it down to the 5 volts that the Arduino needs. Over here we just have some passive stuff, some capacitors, some resistors, MOSFETs. We have on board some LEDs. There's a transmit, receive, a power on, and here is an onboard LED that can be controlled via pin 13. Alright, so I've mentioned the pins a couple times. Let's talk about them for a little bit. This row here are our analog input pins. These pins can read a voltage from 0 to 5 volts. And these are the pins where you would want to plug in something like the infrared sensor or a temperature sensor or something along those lines that are going to input uh, a variable voltage. Now these pins up here are our digital I.O. pins. They can be input or output, but they only input or output 0 or 5 volts. They are either on or off. They're digital. And they can be useful for reading inputs or outputs for something like this relay, which only needs a signal on or off. And we'll talk about how to out or to how to put those things together here in a future video. This is just a real basic introduction of how things work. One of the best ways to get started, and it's going to be in your Arduino book if you bought one of those kits, is simply turning an LED on or off. And it's really simple. You need your Arduino, an LED, and a resistor. Resistors vary, and it depends on what type of LED that you're using. For instance, this one uses a 220 ohm resistor. And you need the resistor to limit the current so you don't burn out the LED. What's nice about using the Arduino is we can use one of these digital pins, any one of them, to turn the LED on or off. Or we can use six of the pins that have the little squiggle marks, the digital PWM, pulse width modulation pins, to act as a pseudo analog output and not only turn the LED on or off, but control the brightness of it as well. 
Hooking up the components to your Arduino is simple too. You use these little pin connections, jumper connections, and you plug in a ground, a 3 volt or 5 volt, and then you put in your signal wire into one of the ports. Then you simply program the Arduino to send a signal to that port and that will control whatever you have, such as this relay. And we're going to get into that more in the next video when we talk about the uh, programming environment for the Arduino. And don't get scared, it's really simple. Okay, that's it for today.